Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's having a good day and a good night if you are watching this at night. Um, my name is Hazy. This is a brand new channel. This is the first video I'm dropping. So I hope you guys enjoy today. We will be talking about today about Black Ops 6 and the release of Black Ops 6 and things that we will see in Black Ops 6. Ba basically everything about Black Ops 6. I hope you guys are excited as I am because we have a lot to cover in this video and I hope you guys enjoy this, okay? So let's get straight into it. For those of you that saw the trailer already, okay? We got to see a lot in the reveal trailer. We got to see the timeline that we're gonna be set in, which is gonna be 1990s, and it's gonna be based off of the Gulf War, okay? Everything about the trailer is very mysterious, and it's meant to be mysterious. Um, basically, hinting at you cannot trust anyone. The truth lies, do not trust anyone. If you guys remember Adler from Cold War, he is gonna be returning as one of the main characters for the story. Also, Woods is returning. And not only is he returning, we have a brand new character called Marshall that Woods basically has as his prospect, okay? He's gonna be basically the main character that we're gonna play as in Black Ops 6, okay? One of the main things of the story is that Adler is gonna be basically being hunted down from the government um, he and because he's wanted, okay? And also, Woods and Marshall get side crossed and they also are being kind of double crossed from the, the government the CIA um, and then they're basically trying to figure out why and trying to find a solution for that and that's all very very interesting but the main thing I wanted to talk about is basically the multiplayer that we saw in the Xbox game direct Call of Duty showcase okay we got to see an inside scoop into the you know Treyarch Studios and we got to see how the game was basically made and um, what the workers over there had to say the developers had to say about the game and we got to see a lot we got to know a lot and one of the big big things that we're gonna be seeing changed in Call of Duty um, is the omnidirectional movement if you guys seen the direct um, showcase they introduced the omnidirectional movement, which is gonna be a big, big thing for Call of Duty. It's a brand new movement that we have never, ever seen before. If you guys didn't know, omnidirectional movement is basically where you can run in, in every direction, you can slide in every direction, and you can also jump in every direction. This is the first ever advanced movement we've seen since Infinity Ward dropped Infinite Warfare. It's going to be very, very interesting to see this being played out, you know, trying out the new movement and basically adapting to it because we've never seen this in a Call of Duty. So we really have to wait until the beta comes out for us to really get a feel for it and basically get a taste of it because it's not until the real like official release of the game that we can actually just, you know, mess around with the movement and really get a feel for it because Let's be honest and realistic. A few days for a beta is not gonna really get us prepared for the new movement. Just like any uh, other game like um, Black Ops 3, where we had to adjust. I didn't get used to that game for at least two weeks, you know, maybe a month because it was such an advanced movement. So we really, really have to wait and see to get a feel for it. I do have high hopes for the new movement, Obviously, Treyarch has done it before in the past, and it was a total success, Black Ops 3, with the jetpacks. It was a little bit less advanced than Advanced Warfare, but it was smoother. So, and it worked very, very well. It was very, very fluid also. So, I have no doubts that um, Treyarch is going to get this right. I'm very optimistic for it, but I am a little scared for it because, you know, just think about it. You being able to run in every direction and also not only slide but also jump is kind of crazy. And if it doesn't play out good and it doesn't go according to plan, then that's going to be kind of affecting the game in a way. Because if people don't like the, the movement, then obviously that's a big part of the game. So a lot of people are not going to like that. 
And if they don't like that, then they're, they're not going to enjoy the game. So I'm, I'm a little worried in that aspect, but I am very optimistic. And I hope, I really, really do hope that Treyarch gets us right and we enjoy the new movement. Because I haven't played Call of Duty for the past three to four years. I just got into um, playing Cold War, as you guys are seeing right now. I am very, very enjoying the game. Not going to lie. It is very fun right now. Um, it's not as sweaty as it was in the beginning and not as buggy as it was in the beginning um, But yeah, this game is gonna be very very similar visually and also obviously the story ties into the new black ops 6 um, But obviously the graphics are gonna look a lot better and everything like that They also added new features where you can auto mantle you can set a, a setting where you can auto mantle it can auto slide for you it's basically called smart movement um this it could be also a benefit and also a negative because for those people that like to actually you know be interactive with the game and actually hit the buttons to slide jump mantle you know obviously you can turn it off so you can customize it you can play however you want but you'll we'll just also have to see how this plays out it does look very very smooth also corner slicing it is dynamic if you guys didn't know so if you're like trying to cut a corner and depending on your speed it'll do it you know more or less if you're going a little faster it's going to do it less and if you're going a little slower it'll do it more it's kind of like what we saw in call of duty ghost but the only thing is is that you don't have to press a button in order to get into that lean it'll be basically automatic because it's dynamic we are also going to be getting in and experiencing new hit zones. If you guys didn't know in past Call of Duties, basically all of the past Call of Duties, we had only four hit zones in the character's body. They now increased that to nine, allowing for different possibilities in, you know, the dying animations. I think this will be very beneficial in terms of accuracy and also hit detection and time to kill times because of the the nine new zones it allows for hundreds of possibilities of basically dying animations one thing i do not like well another thing i do not like about things that are coming back is doors we're getting doors back um one new thing though is that whenever we are going through a door our character is gonna do a specific animation to where he's basically running into the door and also we're gonna also be able to dive into water so it's a new animation for that also i find that kind of cool and it'll be played into warzone very very nicely also so i have no complaints on that one one of the other great things that they added was hud customization so not only can you change it and everything like that but you can set it to your own preference so if you wanted the mini map to your left or your right or your bottom right or your bottom left or even in the middle you can set it to there too and it's not the only thing you can change from the HUD. You can also change where your ammo and your weapon is and also your, your uh, gadgets like your tactical devices and your lethal devices. You can also put them in the middle anywhere you want in the screen, which is very, very nice. And, you know, I'm glad that they implemented this now after a few years, you know, seeing other games implementing that um, automatically with their game. So that's a good thing. That's good news. We did get a short clip into the gunsmith. Um, this one is kind of subjective. I'm kind of not happy about this one because we've seen um, the gunsmith being, you know, obviously implemented into every single Call of Duty after Modern Warfare 2019. And it's been nice, not gonna lie. But I would like to see us go back to the pick 10 system where it was a lot easier for us to basically customize a gun. And it was a little bit more arcadey. So I, I do hope that maybe next year we can go back to that. But Gunsmith is going to be returning in Black Ops 6. And for all the OG fans, we are getting the original Prestige system back. So I am very, very happy to announce that. And last but not least, we are getting zombies. They're coming with two brand new maps in launch. 
and it's going to be very, very exciting, very, very fun for all you zombie fans. But that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a new channel, so please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I would like to see you for the next video that I create. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments what are you excited for, what are your worries, basically anything you have to say about Call of Duty. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.